We're here today with Marin Kossi, who is a legal officer for Pernod Ricard Pacific. Hi, Marin. How are you? Hi. Good. Thanks, Lily. Now, Marin, can you tell me a little bit about your background? What persuaded you to study law? Sure. Well, I started um, doing a winemaking degree, which I started when I finished high school and started that in 1997. And I finished that and I worked in it for a couple of years, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. And the winery that I was working at in 2002 had financial difficulties and went into receivership. And it was at that point that I decided to make some other plans for my future. And I applied to get into law. And uh, I didn't actually get into Flinders on my first attempt. But I went to Darwin and did my first year at Charles Darwin University up there and then got the grades to transfer back down. And so I started at Flinders in 2004 and finished my degree uh, at the end of 2006. Excellent. And what was it about Flinders that made you want to come and study with us? I heard that Flinders was a great practical degree in that they not only taught you the law, taught you all the theory, but also uh, gave you all the practical skills that you needed that would really help you out there in the workforce. Okay, excellent. Now, what are your abiding memories of life as a law student, good and bad? I think uh, studying law um, when I already had another university degree behind me meant that I went into it with a different attitude. So I guess the memory that I have is of studying really hard. <laughs> I. Uh, I guess I treated it like a full-time job. So I was always at uni quite early in the morning and studied through till about five o'clock. I, uh, I was in the library studying, um, you know, before and after lectures and tutorials. But at the same time, I also made some great friends and some excellent people that I studied with. Some people that became colleagues at the law firm that I worked at part time and then when I finished my degree and some people that are, are really good friends now. So I learned a lot and I studied hard, but also I, I did really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And reaping the rewards now. Yes, absolutely. Good. Now, do you have any regrets? No, not at all. It's the, it's the best decision I ever made. I absolutely loved uh, loved the degree and I love what I do now. I'm in a very specialised area in that I practice wine law. I work for a very big wine and beverage company which you know which works well with, with my background in wine making but it my role is is really diverse and varied and it's not just it's not just sitting there looking at contracts all day. You know, I have a lot of interaction with, with people in the company. I get to do all sorts of different work, uh, get to go to different places, up to the wineries that we have in the Barossa, uh, and, and all sorts of things. So no regrets whatsoever. It sounds like a great job. It is. <laughs> now, and what happened once you had your degree? Once you had been admitted, what was your career path? Sure. Well, I'd actually already been working part-time at Finlayson's, which is one of the top corporate and commercial law firms in Adelaide. I had got a summer clerkship there at the end of my second year of my degree, which was the end of my first year at Flinders. And I was actually working in the wine law unit there. And so I worked part-time at Finlayson's for the last two years of my degree and then went full-time as soon as university finished and I was admitted. So I worked solely in that wine law practice for all of 2007, or for most of 2007. And then I applied for this job as a legal officer at Pernod Ricard in October uh, in 2007 and started that almost straight away. So I've been here for just over three months now. Okay, now what would you say that the law degree contributes to the work that you do now? Uh, well, of course, it, it's fundamental. Um, it not only teaches you the basics of, of what the law is, but it teaches you how to interpret the law, how to resolve problems, how to research. Research is a big part of it. You know, you always have to be, be learning, uh, keeping on top of the new legislation, case law, um, regulations, things like that that are brought in. Um, I think as well, as I said before, with, with Flinders' degree being so practical, it taught me so many of the skills that I use today. Uh, we were taught how to negotiate, how to 
uh, I guess, how to run a court case, uh, how to write a letter of advice to a client. It's skills like that that you transfer directly into your work life. And especially in the, in the work that I do, a lot of it is giving advice to clients and you need to know how to, how to draft a letter really concisely, really clearly, so that people can understand it. And that, that's a skill that I learned at uni, definitely. Now with that in mind, do you have any tips for our new students? Any, anything that you would like to have said to yourself when you had started? Um, well, I think, and it might, it might sound a bit scary, but you will get out of it what you put in. So the harder you work, the better you will do. And that way you will set yourself up for a fantastic career as the associate to the chief judge or uh, perhaps a role with the United Nations or with the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs and Trade in New York. Uh, if you study hard, if you do the readings that you're given, if you go to your classes, if you find some good like-minded people that you can study with, and you just do your best, then then you will be successful, and that way you, it will put you in in really good stead for for a great career. Tell me, was law school what you expected? Uh, I think it was. I I did expect that we would be taught a number of different subjects, such as you know corporate law, criminal law. But I think what I didn't expect was the wider range of electives that we would be allowed to choose from. Uh, you might go into law school thinking that you might want to be a criminal lawyer, but then when you actually get to the topic and, and get to, to studying some of the different, the different subjects, you might find that there is uh, something that, that takes your interest. It might be environmental law or international human rights. Uh, and that was, that was one thing that pleasantly surprised me, was that you are taught such a range of, of topics and it really, it really gives you a good grounding and it gives you a great idea of, of what you may like to do as a career. Could you tell us a bit about the company that you work for now? Sure. Uh, as I mentioned before, I work for Pernod Ricard Pacific, which is part of the Pernod Ricard Group which is the second largest wine and beverage company in the world. We have a wide range of products in our portfolio, ranging from Jacobs Creek and Orlando wine to Malibu, Kahlua, Stilichnia vodka, uh, certain French champagnes. So the company that I work for, Pernod Ricard Pacific, uh, looks after all of the Australian and New Zealand brands. Can you tell us a bit about your daily routine? Sure. Well, we here in the Adelaide office look after all of the legal work for Australia and New Zealand. So it's, it's a very varied role. Um, it's a corporate and commercial role. So I'm looking at a lot of contracts, uh, a lot of great supply agreements, uh, sponsorship agreements. We're a really big company. So we do sponsor lots of events. Uh, we used to sponsor the Jacobs Creek Tour Down Under. Uh, we also sponsor the Australian Open, we sponsor various film festivals and, and other events. So there's always lots of negotiations and, and contracts to be put in place for those sorts of things. Um, we, instead of having external clients, being an in-house lawyer means that your, your clients are the different employees and the different departments within the company. So each brand within Pernod Ricard has its own department and brand manager and we also have sales teams and we have seller door teams and they all have different legal requirements that we need to help them out with. So one day I might be doing some liquor licensing work for one of the, the cellar door sites. Uh, the next day I might be dealing with a harassment claim or it could be a vineyard lease or a grape supply agreement. So it's, it's really varied. They keep you busy. Absolutely. And what do you enjoy most about your job? I think it is the variety of work. I think working in a private law firm is good and that gives you really good corporate and commercial background, but you can tend to be pigeonholed. You'll be in there as a property lawyer and then that's all you'll do is property law. But in an in-house role like the one I'm doing, uh, as I mentioned, I do property work and I do liquor license work and I do contract work and I do employment work and insurance work. So it really is, I think, the day-to-day -day variety is what makes it interesting and enjoyable. Thank you.